Hi, I'm Bill Link, and I want to show you two of the most useful cuts you can make with your table saw. They're called a rip cut and a cross cut. A rip cut goes lengthwise in the board or with the grain. That's how you cut a board to width. A cross cut goes across the width of the board or against the grain. That's how you cut a board to length. Now, I'll start with the rip cut. And the first thing I need to do is set the blade height. So I'll raise the guard out of the way and position the board next to the blade. Then I just want to raise the blade until the gullets, that's those little gaps in between the teeth, are just above the top of the board. That'll help clear sawdust out of the way while I make the cut. Then I'll position the rip fence by just sliding it over to the dimension that I want, four inches in this case, and then lock it down. Now, I'm ready to make a rip cut. To make a cross cut, I'm going to use the miter gauge. So I've stored the fence out of the way. I'll just slide the miter gauge right into the miter gauge slot. And then I'm going to check my setup real quick. I'm going to make sure that the blade height is still good. Those gullets are just above the top of the board. That looks great. Then I'll position the workpiece. I've marked where I want to cut. So I'll slide that up to the blade. And what I'm looking for here is to make sure that the blade is on the waist side of that line. So you're cutting right up to the line. If I cut on the line or on the other side of it, then it's going to wind up being too short. All right, so that looks great, and I'm ready to make this cut. The wood will be resting against the miter gauge as it slides up the T-channel for a perfectly straight and even cut. So that's all there is to making rip cuts and cross cuts on your table saw. I'm Bill Link. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.